Suppose you want to know how many times a car wheel rotates in two kilometers. The starting point would be to estimate how far the car travels after one wheel rotation. This will be the circumference of the wheel. A simple technique for estimating the circumference of a wheel is to roll the wheel along a tape measure. The mark fixed to the wheel lines up with the 0.1 meter position on the tape. After one rotation, the mark aligns with the 1.370 meter position. The circumference is therefore the difference between these positions. The wheel circumference can also be estimated by winding a string around the wheel. The length of string required will be marginally longer than the true circumference. The thickness of the string introduces a small error. As you can see, compared with the last measurement, the circumference is 20 millimeters longer using this method. The wheel circumference can also be estimated by measuring the diameter of the wheel and calculating the circumference. With the camera position fixed, the measurement is subject to a large parallax error because the scale is too far away from the object being measured. By using two straight edge sticks either side of the tire, parallax error can be significantly reduced. This method yields a circumference of 1.288 meters or 18 millimeters longer than the rolling method. Possible reasons for these differences may include the string does not follow a straight path around the wheel, the thickness of the string. The rolling tire method allows the weight of the wheel to slightly compress the tire, thus reduces the measured circumference. There are different ways of making estimates. Each estimate comes with its own errors. Through practice, you will improve your skill at estimation and gain a better understanding of the errors you have to work with.